imagine a world where plants turn the tables on their insect prey, ensnaring them with deadly traps and slowly sipping the essence of their life from their unsuspecting victims. This is not the stuff of science fiction, but the captivating reality of carnivorous plants, nature's own cunning predators in the plant kingdom. In this botanical adventure, we'll delve deep into the shadows of these enigmatic flora, exploring their exotic habitats, their secret weapon-like adaptations, and the exhilarating experience of nurturing these voracious beauties in our own gardens. Welcome to the intriguing world of carnivorous plants, where the botanical meets the carnivorous and where your green thumb might just take on a new shade of crimson. Just kidding, they're not really dangerous to humans. Let's dig in. Arguably, the most iconic carnivorous plant is the Venus flytrap, which is renowned for its hinged tooth traps that snap shut when triggered by an insect. They eat mostly ants and spiders, will devour pretty much any insect that dares to draw near, including slugs. Believe it or not, Venus flytraps are native to the coastal Carolinas and are currently endangered due to habitat destruction. They are a favorite among plant enthusiasts and are relatively easy to find in nurseries. They enjoy a sunny location with moist soil. Pitcher plants are known for their trumpet-shaped, fluid-filled leaves that lure insects with colorful markings and nectar. Once inside, the prey becomes trapped and drowns in the liquid, which is rich in enzymes for digestion. Pitcher plants prefer anthropod prey and eat mostly spiders. They are native to the U.S., but their natural habitat spans from Nova Scotia in the north all the way south to Florida. Pitcher plants, like most of the plants we'll discuss, prefer moist soil and grow easily in bogs. Similarly, tropical pitcher plants are climbing carnivorous plants known for their elegant hanging pitcher-shaped traps. They thrive in tropical climates and are appreciated for their wide variety of striking pitcher forms and colors. These plants are native to Southeast Asia, Madagascar, and Australia. Some species of tropical pitcher plants are capable of capturing and digesting small mammals, such as mice and even rats. Pitchers on these plants can be as large as a football. The monkey cup, with its attractive pitcher-shaped traps and relatively forgiving care requirements compared to some other tropical pitcher plant species, the monkey cup is a beloved choice for many carnivorous plant enthusiasts. The plant is called the monkey cup because in Southeast Asia where the plant is native, monkeys do actually drink from the plant's cups. The pitchers of the monkey cup come in a variety of colors, but the color of the pitcher is actually determined by the amount of sunlight that it receives. The monkey cup is used in traditional medicine in some parts of Southeast Asia. The leaves and pitchers are used to treat a variety of ailments, including coughs, headaches, and upset stomach. Do you hate mosquitoes? Then sundews are for you. Sundews are characterized by their sticky, glandular hairs that glisten in the sunlight. Insects become ensnared in these droplets, and the plant's tentacles slowly curl around the prey, eventually digesting it with enzymes. Sundews are found natively throughout most of the world. They prefer boggy conditions with nitrogen-lacking soil. They prefer to get their nitrogen from the bugs they ensnare. Similarly, the Cape sundew is a South African sundew species that's particularly popular due to its ease of care and fast growth. Its long, narrow leaves covered in sticky dewdrops make it a favorite for insect capture. Cape sundews have been used for medicinal purposes by the indigenous peoples of South Africa for centuries. The plant is said to have anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties and has been used to treat everything from headaches to stomach problems. The mucilage on the leaves of the Cape sundew is incredibly effective at trapping insects. Once an insect lands on a leaf, the mucilage envelops it, making it impossible for the insect to escape. 
Cape sundews are quite hardy and can tolerate a wide range of growing conditions, making them a popular choice among carnivorous plant enthusiasts. In addition to their insect catching abilities, cape sundews are also prized for their attractive appearance. Their leaves are covered in small red tentacles that give them a unique and otherworldly appearance. Their diet often consists mostly of mosquitoes. Butterworts are compact carnivorous plants with rosette-like leaves covered in glandular hairs. When an insect lands on their leaves, they quickly become ensnared and the plant secretes enzymes to digest the prey. Butterworts are commonly found in rocky habitats where they capture small insects to compensate for nutrient deficiencies in the soil. Alpine butterworts are also carnivorous and are found in the high altitudes of Eurasia. In the past, European folk medicine recommended butterworts for various ailments such as sores, swelling, sciatica, liver disease, stomach aches, chest pain, and respiratory problems. The reason for its supposed effectiveness against these ailments is credited to the presence of cinematic acid in the plants. Native to the west coast of North America, the cobra plant is a rare and captivating species with distinctive tubular hooded leaves that resemble a striking cobra. At the opening of each leaf, there are small hair-like structures that secrete a sweet, sticky liquid that attracts insects. Once an insect lands on the leaf and begins to feed on the liquid, it becomes trapped by the sticky hairs. As the insect struggles to free itself, it triggers sensitive hairs inside the tubular leaves. This causes the leaf to snap shut, trapping the insect inside. The cobra plant then secretes digestive enzymes that break down the insect's body, allowing the plant to absorb the nutrients it needs to survive. As we bid farewell to the world of carnivorous plants, we leave behind the captivating realm of these botanical predators, each species a testament to nature's infinite creativity. From the deceptive elegance of the pitcher plants to the menacing snap of the Venus flytraps, these remarkable organisms have shown us that the boundaries of life on Earth are as diverse as they are unpredictable. Whether you choose to embark on the journey of cultivating your own carnivorous garden or simply stand in awe of their incredible adaptations in the wild, these plants have a way of leaving an indelible mark on those who dare to explore their world, almost as indelible as the mark of the world's most poisonous plants. If you haven't seen my video on the deadliest plants on earth, you should watch that next. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.